Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. Can harvest the indicated. Oh, maybe you just push that into... Right, yeah, you push that into the clamp and it, um, like, chops it up, puts it out. That, that, that would make a lot of sense. Right, uh, oh, it is in here, it is, it's right here. The John Deere, this one right here, we've now got a trailed forage harvester right there which i would like to try out at some point um only a minor detail that one is i've got the stock buster pack as well this one when you use it it goes a little bit slower than the standard ones this one goes at five miles an hour whereas the standard ones six miles an hour so they're a little bit slower but what they do is they also mulch the field they mulch the stalks underneath as well as doing the crops. You don't need to go over them twice. Um, and there's a few others. Now, the one that I'm looking for in particular, I don't know if it's going to be in here. Yes, it's in here. They're all in here. We've got a selection. of. So you've got the Profi Liner right here. It can be used for pallet transportation. This one doesn't have anything in particular but then if you go over this way we've got auto load stock trailer we've got the little one we've got that one there another little one we've got the um profi liner one there there are others as well i don't know where they are why are these all in miscellaneous i suppose that one right there takes dry crop although i'm curious how it blows in silage and that but it takes grain and um powder and stuff like that and then you've got these for every type of liquid up to fifty thousand liters as well which is very cool and then a selection of other little bits but it's this one there there are some others that, that i'm guessing that they will be under trailers in here and in here that one doesn't say anything about auto load there are more auto load ones i had a selection of them lizard trailer loads of trailers now we got there's like several packs there's different um packs for them available we got that standard auto loader there that is the one that we've been using all this time so they're not in there which means that they're likely to be under maybe bailing technology Bailers, bell, bell loaders, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got auto loader here. I got those two as auto loaders right there. And you can have the different designs on them if you want to. And they have auto load built into them. Have I got any others? I don't know. There, there, there was, there's an auto load pack, and it's on the in game mod hub. So it's absolutely brilliant. And it's this one here that I wanted. I wanted to try this one here. And we've got Crone, got all the giants with the Farming Simulator League stuff on it, or standard plain white. We can change the color. Actually, I'm going to go with the standard white, and then we can change the different colors on them. So, like, we could have orange on there. We could go with. Dark blue. Let's go with a bright yellow. Chassis color there is jet black. What about design color? Jet black on there. Actually, let's do this the other way around. We'll go jet black on there, and then chassis can be the John Deere yellow. And the design color can be the John Deere yellow as well. That that that's that's a lot better. I like that. And then the rim color, we can't really do much. We could go with the, the black on there. And let's not worry about the license plate. Let's, let's not um, do too much with that. So standard chrome. It just changes the design on there. So we can just go with this. And then we bring that one up. So that can go back to being jet black. Right. Let's do it. 33,500. Yes. Okay. Now I've already got a lorry. So I'm just going to take those straps off there a minute and I'm going to unload that one. So this little trailer that we've got here, we may not really need it for the auto loading anymore. I'm just going to bring it over here a minute and we'll park that tractor up a second. And then we are going to go through our machinery. I'm going to go to this one. It's got 18,000 litres of water on board. So I'm going to unhitch this one over here. Right in next to the greenhouse, just there. And then, like that. And then I'm going to get stuck. 
apparently. Okay, so it's not the best place to go and put it. We might need to do a little something different in there. And we want to get to the shop, go and get our new trailer. There's a load of other mods as well, and to be honest, there's so many of them that I can't remember what I've got. There is one in particular that I do know that I've got, which actually we could take a quick look at that now, because there's a whole load of placeable ones that have come up as well. Now, we've already seen the new placeable bits here for the bees, but I don't think I showed you the beehive honey palette. Uh, location where honey generated by he beehives is placed as pallets. But this one also you can store honey as well. So we're only allowed one per farm. So what we're going to do is we'll gather everything up with the one that we've got over here. And then I'd like to use this one. This one's this one actually seems pretty good. So we could wait until February. Actually, when's the best time for... Honey is generally the best times in March. Um... But we could put this one down, and then the pallet... I th I'm not sure how it works, but you can use it as storage, and it will store a whole load of honey as well. I think it's got like 30,000 litres capacity. I'm not entirely sure. But that's something that we can have a look at. Our dog really does wander, doesn't he? He's going to be out here on the road in a minute and get himself run over. We'll ignore him for a minute. Right, let's go bombing off up to the shop. There we go, looking good. Looking good. Marigolds at the ready. We can take on the world with these marigolds. I haven't gone past the shop, have I? No, I haven't. It's all right. It's all right. It's all good. Nobody panic. Let's go off in here. We're going round. So this is this trailer that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. I've been really excited about the prospect of being able to try this one out as soon as i seen it i was oh, this 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 is brilliant this has absolutely made my day we have now got a proper lorry trailer there we go hook that one right in there and let's have a look at the options that we got on here at the moment so we can open the back door like that just press x so that unfolds the back door like that um Tip side left, curtain left front. That's you. Curtain left back. Oh, I see, right. And then you press Z to open those. So we open the curtain and they move them up like that. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. And then we can move them up to the back as well. So if I go now. Um, and I've got Euro Palette, we've got the loading types, so we've got Euro Palette. We're closing up the curtain cider right there. If I press Z, right, wait a minute, let me close the back doors. Right, curtain left back, open curtain side. Curtain right front, curtain right back, curtain left front. Okay, so open the curtain side and changing the loading type. It says Euro Pallet at the moment. It doesn't actually change that. It just does the curtains. That's a little bit of a shame. I'm, as far as I know, it does take other types as well. But I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. We may have to just um, like re, uh, redo the, rebind the key for that one. So that we can change the uh, type select. Because it's got two working on the same one at the moment. Which it probably shouldn't have. Um, but it's Euro Palette that we want here anyway. It's it's only if... The only one you want to change is this Euro Palette overloaded. And the only time that you actually need that is if you go into Palettes in here. And you want to buy the likes of these. And this one right here in the Mineral Feed. Uh, because these stick out a bit on the Palettes. It's actually program them in to be loaded slightly differently they won't load with just the standard euro pallet you've got to have a euro pallet overloaded option for that one and then it spaces them out more so in order to be able to get those we would need to be able to change the type selection that we've got on this trailer let's see if we can do that in a minute pallet auto load specialization has markers if you press Control and u it actually shows the markers i love the way that the keyboard controls actually have 
all of the different mods listed in here. So I go to the palette auto load right there and then I can go and find the ones that I want. Uh, the one that I'm looking for though, it doesn't seem to be in here. The only Z key I found at the moment is tool function four. So I might, or oh, we've got the auto load, which is just Z. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the auto load bit itself. All right, we're just going to try that one right there. And I'm going to try shift Z on that. So if I go shift Z right there, left shift and Z for toggle loading type, that should hopefully do what we want to do. So I'll save the change. I, I know that most of you know how to do this, but uh, the reason I show this sometimes is so that those of you who don't know how to do it can see very quickly how you can go through and easily change over keypads and game controls and stuff like that. So now if I have a look on that list, loading type Euro palette. So if I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to open it up first. Curtain left back. I don't want left back, uh, right front. Curtain right back, curtain left front. So let's do that a minute, and then I'll press... Oh, tip side as well. We've got curtain left, front, left, back, and then changing the tip side doesn't work. We can't choose which tip side, so we've only got a tip side on the left side, because that's also two keys the same. You've got the show markers there on the ground, which we could try and change over. So, yeah, that there is, unfortunately, with this autoload trailer, there is a little bit of conflict between the autoload trailer itself and the autoload script that runs it. But it's easy enough to change these things over. So, I'm also now going to, let's control U. So, I could do shift U and have that one for changing the tip side on the autoload. Not really sure. But anyway, I wanted curtain right back there so then I can press Z to open the side no I didn't want the right back at all okay let's press Z and close it I want it on this side let's let's move the, the, the truck a minute and we'll go out so that we've got the sunshine on the correct side of the truck I'm gonna do this right out here on the road there we go right out here on the road just like that and then I want curtain left front I think is the one that I'm after so I do that and then I will press Z and open it there we go that's what I wanted open the curtain side so it goes there like that right there everything's opened up and I also want to be able to change the loading type so shit left shift Z liquid tank big bag pallet round bale cotton Euro palette overloaded. So we've now got the different options that we can put onto there. Um, I'm going to have a look a minute and see it because I've got to control you there. Oh, no, look, now that I've opened the curtain sides, now I can change the tip side. That will allow me left or right. So we, that bit works fine. But the other one, the, the changing of the Euro palette, that wasn't working okay with the opening and closing of the curtain cider. So that one we did have to change. So anyway, every, everything's all tickety-boo. Everything is fine. We are load type Euro palette. Tip side, I keep that on the left. I like to have that one on the left-hand side. It makes it easier. And we close the curtains. Right, let's get this one back to the yard. And then once we've done that... We will start loading up some pallets. So we're going to load up all of the honey first. And what I think we'll do is we'll load all the honey. We're not going to sell it. We're just going to load it all up. And then we will play, We'll get rid of the pallet spawner that we've got currently. And we will put down the new warehouse one just to try that out. Now, I really like the pallet spawner that we've got right now. Because that one will allow us to have up to 24 pallets. This new warehouse, whilst in theory it will hold 33,000 litres of honey, I'm not sure how much it will actually... I don't want to, I don't want to turn down this road. Um, I'm not sure how much it will allow us to have in the way of pallets just kind of sitting there. So it's going to be interesting one just to experiment with that and find out, see what's happening with it. Let's move on up through here. And it's in here that we want to come. 
So we'll come on down through here. I'm assuming that we can just load up this one without opening the sides, but that's not how you do things, is it? So we want to do that right there, and then we want to open the sides up. There. And now you just press R, and it should just load. Yep, enable auto load 15. So it's within range of 15 of them. <laughs> ah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Press L and put straps on as well, just to bind everything down. Now, I don't know if it does these pallets at a double height. I'm about to find that one out. So I'll do that again. It does do them at a double height, even better. So now if I move back off of the spawn point here a second, and then we need to just fast forward past the next hour. Might have to do that for another hour. So I think it's every hour on the hour, but you may have to have a full hour clear before the pallet will spawn. Okay, there's nothing spawning in here at the moment. Right. Don't know why there's nothing spawning. Maybe I'm a bit too close to it. Maybe it doesn't like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and into construction. And in order to be able to get this warehouse right here, only one per farm. I will just have a look at silos and see if there's anything to do with the honey in here. Not sure if there is or there isn't. I don't think there is. There's all the extra stuff that we've got. So much stuff now. It's so cool. I like it. There's not a big lot in the extensions. We've got loads of different types of sheds. But again, I don't think it's anything to do with the honey. Uh, tools, maybe. Is there anything in here? Again, no. Right, it doesn't... And then production in here, you got these. So, no, it doesn't look like there's anything extra. It is just the... This one right here. So, before we can get that one, though... Uh, just press escape, get rid of that. And then, if I go to this one, I can sell that. Okay. Then we can go and get this one. And we will put this one here. Bring it back a little bit from the corner, I think. And we'll plonk it down like that. And then let's just go into landscaping very quickly and make sure that things are kind of smoothed out in here. Like that. Uh. Right, yeah, that's all I want to do is just make sure that it hasn't altered the terrain too much around here. Over that side. Make sure everything is smooth down around it. Okay, that's fine. We don't want to do anything else there. So next up, I want to come over this way. So we've got... Let's open this one up. No active productions, building, storage. Storage is empty. Beehive, honey, pallet location. So I've got a couple of different options in here. Uh, toggle, map, view. I need to go around over to this one here, manage production point. So I've got right here, honey coming in turns into honey. That's the basically, so we're storing honey. That's, that's all it's doing. So I can activate that so that it's storing uh, materials are missing. So what does it actually, how does this actually work? It's what we want to see next. So we've got materials missing, storage empty can't go into the warehouse. I did wonder if maybe we could open that door, but th there's no option for doing that. So you can't actually... Oh, wait, what? Is that something? I thought i seen something else come up then. No. Apparently not. Right, okay. So we can't actually go in there. So next I'm going to fast forward time a little bit further. Let's go to 2 o'clock. And should in theory get some pallets spawn here. If we got honey still working. Hmm. Why am I not getting any honey? This... Ain't right. Where's the honey? 
Building storage. Right, I'm not getting any honey turning up, and I don't like this. So we will go and have a look in here. Material missing. If I deactivate inactive cycles per month, 72. 120, 120. Right, this should be fine for cycles per month, and then it, um, it'll um it store. So this is production. Honey pallet location. That's where you tip. I'm really confused by this now. It doesn't look... How are you... Alright, I'm not really sure why, but we haven't got anything spawning at the moment. However, it might be because we can't have more than 9,600 litres of honey at any one time. Now, I don't know if that's a thing. I know that sometimes in this game there are actually hard limits on what you're allowed to own and produce and what you're not. So it might be something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit on here. And I've got honey coming in there. So I got honey coming in over this storage bit. Which means that I can just drive straight over it. Like this. Let me undo those straps there. And it's instantly placing the honey out and dealing with it. So now we can go and have a look in here and it's got 399 storing right there so cycles per month doesn't seem to be doing anything if i activate does it do anything different doesn't give me a cost per month oh yeah production costs per month right so what's it doing now why have i got costs per month Apparently I don't need to activate it, but now I'm storing the honey, so I'm driving over the delivery point right there. The honey's going in. Like that. And we've got 4,800 litres of honey being stored in there, but where's the rest of our honey going? This is, this is the bit that is concerning me. We've got no other honey anywhere. Now, I mean... I'm assuming that I'll be able to just go up beside that one over there in a bit and we'll be able to pick up all the honey and it will be dumped into this trailer. Well, that's easy enough. We can deal with that. Um, January the 2nd. We can just skip... Oh, actually, no. I wanted to go and load up the greenhouses. We won't worry about that. We want, we want to get to the bottom of this little mystery right here. We want to under, uncover what is going on. So, shift Z. Sleep. I have 10,000 in loan interest. With a few production costs as well. 6,278 honey stored. So does this mean that I actually need to have it running? Didn't check. Yeah, we, we, there's more honey now than there was. So maybe I just needed to go overnight a bit. Let me speed this up again. And we're just going to sit here a second and we're going to wait and see if that number climbs up. We need to go forward one hour. Is it going to do it? A watched pot never boils. Let's go. Uh, it's half past nine. Should on... Well, actually, we don't even need to be going into the... Right, it's not changing. Why is it not changing? It should be increasing every hour. It's so what it was doing. Every hour I was getting more coming out on that other spawn location. Or at least I was in the last... Maybe a mod I've got has got a conflict here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to sleep the night again. Let's see if that does anything. I'm still wondering if we've got too much honey on here. Like, may maybe we've just got an excessive amount of honey and it won't let us sell anything at all. Right, now I've got more honey. More honey has come in. There's another... But it's only like a thousand litres. It's not very much. And it's only coming in at night. Thousand litres... Yeah, it's twelve hundred litres. Like three pallets. That's nothing. I had loads and loads of bee. I got loads of beehives everywhere. Why has my honey gone haywire? Does it show us? And you, it shows you got no information. Of, that's something that does irritate me is we got no information about honey production in general. All I've got is this one, 
telling me that I've got a bit of honey coming in. But that's it. It's, it's not giving me any other information whatsoever. And I had a whole load more than that. Each of these is 400 litres. So that's 1,200 litres in each stack. And that's all I had for 24 hours. And I'm sure I was getting a lot more than that previously. Let's empty everything out. This is, this is, this is going to annoy me now. But, I mean, we're in February, so we should get, we get a reasonable price. February and March, you get good prices for honey and also for um, the stuff in the greenhouses. So, we're just going to park up here right next to this one. And I'm going to load up everything that is there, like that. And then you just got to wait for the next lot to come out. And then we can load it all up again, like that. Wait for the next lot. In your own time. It'll get here eventually. 2,800 we've got in there. There we go. And that is everything that is left. So I'm going to load that up. Like that. And then we put the straps down. And then we'll go on up this way. We've got the greenhouses are full. The strawberry... Actually, no, they're not. Okay, we, we've got plenty in here. Um, a thousand liters for lettuce being stored, nineteen hundred for tomato. So we've got everything that we could possibly want in here. I'm going to load up as much as I possibly can of everything that we've got. So I'm going to come up, park alongside this one. Can I reach all of them? We got eight there. Can I reach eight? Ah, uh, auto load eight. I can. I can reach every single one of them. That's fantastic. And then there's three more that have just come out. And that goes up to a third layer. So then we move on over here. And we go up next to the lettuce. And we start loading them up. I'm going to shunt around a bit. This is going to be quite the sale. Once we actually get it over to the sale point. This, this is going to make us an absolute fortune, this lot. So let's move up to there. And load up that lot. And that one. Is there any more in lettuce? Uh, lettuce right here. 1,000. Is, there's, there's a couple of them there. There's two of them. So we're not going to be able to sell all of the... We're not going to be able to take all of the strawberries this time round. Because they won't fit. There's three layers that you can put in here. And that's it. Quite what's happened to our honey, I'm not really sure. Something weird going on with the honey. I'm going to take all those straps off a minute. And then I'm going to put the strawberries in there. We can get a few more. Let's just press X and open up the back doors as well so we can see what's going on back there. There we go. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a completely full truck. We cannot fit anything else in here. This is absolutely fantastic. So I'll press Z and I'll close that one up. This is awesome. I love this. All right, we're going to go out this way. Technically, I suppose we should go out that way. But we're, we're going to go out. This way. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.